the Bronx is burning is a phrase many people are familiar with when thinking of the history of the South Bronx, from burnt out buildings in the 70s to ongoing issues with violence today. There's unfortunately been a lot of negativity surrounding the borough. There's also a rich history of black American pride and prosperity. Dean Meminger takes a tour of the Morrisania neighborhood, where religion and music are an important part of the Bronx's black experience. The South Bronx started as a middle-class suburb of Harlem. Dean, I'll give you... Going on a tour with Fordham University's Bronx African American History Project, these streets and neighborhoods have a strong connection to black culture and New York City history. In the early 1930s, Professor Mark Nason says after the Great Depression, landlords needed blacks to move to South Bronx communities. There were many vacant apartments at the time. Morrisania was a neighborhood that was largely Jewish. The landlords put up signs that said, we rent to select colored families. Middle class black families who wanted better schools, better housing, saw those signs and started to move into this neighborhood. Leaving Harlem, the black mecca at the time. The South Bronx was a place of hope for upwardly mobile black families, West Indian families, and Puerto Rican families. Bringing with them their culture, talents, and style. What's the name of this? It's called The Melody. The Melody, this building. The Melody, located on Prospect Avenue near Westchester Avenue, has a plaque saluting music legends who performed in the Bronx and styles that were created in the borough. It also mentions jazz greats, including Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, and Miles Davis, who once hit the stages of the South Bronx. Walk down Boston Road from 169th to 166th Street, and there are six different jazz clubs. Many musicians who performed in Harlem would come to the Bronx because they had so many nightclubs and places to perform. Like, for example, the Club 845, which was founded in the late 40s, became the top jazz club in the area. And if you didn't know, doo-wop and harmonizing were a big deal in the Bronx. The chords wrote and were the first to perform this mega hit. Shaboom was the first urban harmonic song to sell a million records. In 1954, they were students at Morris High School. The girl group, the Chantels, who went to St. Anthony of Padua Elementary School, had their own big hit in 1958 with me. Right down there. Professor Nason and longtime Bronx resident Bob Gums wrote the book Before the Fires. They say life was good prior to the fires of the 70s that gutted several communities. This church. That life and history includes churches such as Thessalonia Baptist and St. Augustine's Presbyterian. That's history that you're saying Malcolm X and Martin Luther King spoke at this church. Of course, of Reverend Edler Hawkins who became the first black head of the Presbyterian Church in the United States and the first black professor at Princeton Divinity School. This and Thessalonians. Out of the ashes of the 70s, housing redevelopment occurred with the help of many churches and community groups. And of course, hip-hop was born in the South Bronx and spread across the world. A double E, my MC name is Lisa Lee. If you are the alone, you tell Alicia Lee on your telephone. Oh my, you're Alicia Lee. We're with a legend. That's why she can spit it. This is unbelievable. Oh my, take a picture of this. You're in Wild Star and Beach Street. You never know who you're going to meet. And at the end of a good concert, sermon, or tour in the black community, it's time to eat. And then we have Johnson's. The eating place. <laughs> Right here, all right. Yes. Let's see, we're gonna go in. There he is, all right. What do you have there? Chicken. Chicken? What kind of chicken? Fried chicken. Man. Fried chicken. He said, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Johnson's Barbecue opened in 1954 and remains a staple of black culture in the South Bronx. From Morrisania to the stage of the Met, so much history to celebrate right here in New York.